of you know supercross and motocross i think a lot of people don't realize that as well because uh it has to be most of the year you know it's all the focus is being put on supercross and uh then you get what's it like a two-week break then you go into round one normally i hang down there but just it seems like um just having those two and trying to balance those two it has to be really hard and and um how are you with dealing with both of that and kind of making a transition from supercross and then quickly over the motocross like bike setup wise and everything yeah dude it's it's tough for sure especially because in the united states the the focus is supercross like that's that championship definitely means more in my opinion than outdoors and i think that's where more of the money is so like i think a lot of the teams focus on that and it is hard to like you said you have two weeks to switch everything over and whatnot i think the teams have a little bit of advantage because they have extra bikes and extra suspension all that so they can kind of provide a little bit outdoors during the weeks of the later rounds of supercross um but for me it's it's tough for sure like because i full-blown supercross all the way till the end of the season and then like have two weeks to try to send suspension off try to get everything ready switch over to outdoors get like i don't have the luxury to have extra bikes and suspension to be training outdoors at the same time like i'm still racing supercross so being a privateer makes it a little bit rough and so that transition is definitely tough and that's when not and i don't really do too many outdoors so like lately like i did all i did is watch Google this year but even that alone was tough just to jump in the middle mid-season trying to go race or race uh, outdoors and be prepared not only physically but like have bike prepared and everything else because it's hard to practice <clears throat> practice when your bike when you're riding tracks that aren't as rough or ruddy as what you're racing on so it's definitely a challenge but i think um i think supercross definitely is the main thing and i think everyone focuses on that so i i, I honestly don't see anything going any I don't see it going more towards outdoors at all anytime in the future. I think it's going to s- even swing more towards Supercross. Yeah, and a lot of people talk about Europe versus um, the States here, and it's it's something that it's really hard to uh, compare the two because MXGP is I think, like 17 rounds of just motocross, and plus the tracks are way different over there. So just even going from a, a U.S. track over to <clears throat> a GP tracks, like really different for the riders and um and then you can't compare them because they're always on motocross they have the whole year they have their focus on that and then um yeah with like the factory riders it's hard enough with them um you know, going over then i'm hearing a lot of them are still running like really stiff setup um suspension wise um and the outdoors and like when they go to mx and nations compared to like their ktm teammates or whatever like um they're just saying like how insanely different the setups are um just how much stiffer everyone is here in the states compared to the guys over in europe but um getting back to supercross and motocross um yeah it has to be insanely hard on the um factory riders but yeah for the privateers like i think that's another thing that people don't realize <laughs> like i said that a lot in this episode but they don't is the, the privateers um not like they have you guys don't have the luxury of you know multiple bikes and just focusing all your time on that and having uh race mechanic factory or um practice bike mechanic and and uh, just all the um you know options they have and and everything yeah for sure i I totally agree and like you said comparing the us the u.s versus mxgp and i definitely think it's it's not really a fair comparison because like you said, they race outdoors only. They don't race supercross. And like I said, I think we, the U S struggles on setup. I think we're overall too stiff, especially compared to the MXGP stuff. And a lot of that, a lot of that has to do with supercross. I think we get so comfortable riding supercross on stiff suspension that once, if we get on something that's soft enough, that works like say an MXGP setup, I don't, think we're comfortable on it because like we don't want a bottom we don't want it the bike to wallow be wallowy or ride that low in the stroke because we're so prone to being used to supercross stuff that's stiff and holds up and doesn't bottom and we get so comfortable with feeling that it's what we kind of thrive for on our outdoor setups and i think it definitely holds us back as far as being competitive with the mxgp guys 